Now you might be wondering which foods are gonna help to stimulate your metabolism. Well, there's four ones that come to mind. Number one is green tea. Number two is having spicy foods. Number three is having high protein foods. And number four, cold water. The number one food or liquid that you can consume when it comes to speeding up your metabolism is actually green tea. Now you can have your green tea with your stevia or you can even just have it with your milk or whatever it is, but the ECGCs in the green tea actually have been shown to have a thermogenic effect on your body. So it's basically raising the heat in your body so that your body is using more calories. It also boosts your metabolism slightly. Do you ever notice that when you have caffeine or if you have green tea or matcha, you get a slight boost in energy, so thus it's increasing your metabolic rate. And last but not least, the EGCG in green tea has been shown to help break down fats as fuel. Number two is spicy food. So spicy food like chili peppers, they contain a certain ingredient in there that helps, again, boost your thermogenesis. So it's gonna help raise the heat while you're at rest. It actually works as an appetite suppressant. So spicy food gives you feelings of fullness, potentially leading to a reduction in caloric intake. And then again, it's going to boost your metabolism, which is then going to help you to burn more calories, specifically from fat at rest. Number three is having high protein and high protein foods. Protein actually makes your body burn more calories to break down the protein. This is called the thermic effect of food. So you're gonna require more energy to burn protein as fuel than you would fats and carbs. Number two is we know that protein, and when you work out, you break down muscle tissue and the protein creates protein synthesis which helps to build more muscle and more muscle means more calories that you require in order for you to keep the muscle alive. And whenever we have high protein foods, we generally feel more full. We feel more satisfied and when we feel more full and more satisfied, then require less carbs or less calories. What happens when we eat carbs is that we tend to get hungrier right after. But when it comes to protein, it actually makes us feel fuller and longer and it's gonna help us to keep our caloric consumption down. Now the last is cold water or even if you wanna do one of my hacks, which is ice chunks. When you have something that's cold, your body always wants to be at neutral. So what does that mean? If something is colder than your internal temperature, it's got to bring the temperature down to neutral. Thus, when you're bringing the temperature down, that creates an energy burn. And so just by drinking cold water or having ice chunks, you're actually making your body work harder, increasing your thermic effect and making you burn more calories. And when you're burning more calories, you're generally burning more calories from fat. So just by drinking cold water or adding ice chunks to your water, you're gonna increase your metabolism and you're gonna burn more calories. So there we have it guys, the four foods that you could be eating in order to increase your metabolism and to start burning fat. You got your green tea, spicy foods, high protein, and you can start drinking cold water. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give the video a like, and we'll see you on the next one.